Welcome back, you guys. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. We are down in the south of the island. Completely have not been down here at all before. I actually just fast traveled to this location. 2.1 kilometers. This is as close as I can get. In the last episode, you know that we were trying to find Jay Skell. We went to his estate. I'll show you where we're at here, you guys. So look at this. This is where we're going to Apple headquarters. I mean, Skell headquarters. <laughs> Someone will get that joke. All right. So here, this is that area I had seen when I was going around and opening up the bivouac areas. Looks like this is the closest I could get. This particular one I know is up on the side of a hill. And this is a giant wall that I didn't want to deal with. So we're here. We're going to have to work our way across to here, and it's probably going to be ridiculous. So, we are back up here before somewhere, wherever Jay Skells was. So, we had to go down, um, we had to go down to another area, I think all the way back over here, and work my way through a facility, and I went underground, had to go underground. I found him. And I flew him to the cave. So he's in there with Maurice and, and Mads and everybody else, right? He did tell me a little bit of the story about kind of what's going on here. It seems that the military found out about his drone technology. They sent in an advisor. And that's Stone. That's the guy on the video who's telling everybody to kill everybody. And also what, Lieutenant Walker was a part of this. And also there's someone involved in my chain of command... Supposedly the person who ordered us to come to this island is involved in this as well. So it looks like the backstabbing and the treachery has gone deeper than we can even imagine. So it's going to be interesting to see this story unfold. Just who the good guys and the bad guys are. So real quick on my loadout. I'm doing, um, as far as these go, I'm on Panther now. I've already done Sniper to level 10. I've done Assault to level 10. Now I'm on Panther. And you can see Panther's pretty neat. It's really how I've been getting my kills while stealth, you know, sitting in a bush. The drones or whatever, killing enemies without being detected. But a lot of this stuff had to do with using an SMG. And you can see here I'm using the HK UMP 45. Well, the UMP is a 45 caliber. And that suppressor on there is actually a B&T suppressor. Now, B&T makes quality firearms and suppressors. They make a lot of stuff for HK. These are B&T stocks as well. And that's a B&T suppressor. So my gun in 45 caliber, instead of being a UMP, is a B&T gun. My personal one in real life. And it is awesome. So it's cool seeing the BNT suppressor in here, the BNT UMP style stock on the HK UMP. This shoots a 45 caliber round, you guys. And realistically, this would be one of the most quiet guns in this game. In this game, just like this would be. Why? You say why? Well, 45 caliber bullet at 230 grains is heavy enough to be subsonic stock ammunition so every 45 caliber 230 grain bullet you shoot is subsonic meaning it's going to be under 11 about 1100 feet per second meaning it's not going to crack or make a shockwave sound from the bullet all right from the bullet because even if you've got a suppressor on a gun your most of the rifle bullets almost all of them are not subsonic all right so you're going to shoot it's going to hide your muzzle signature, but it's going to crack as soon as it comes out and breaks. You still, you think that it's going to crack and they're not going to be able to identify where you're at. It is easily identifiable direction of where that bullet came from. Like if there was a guy like way over at that rock, right? And I shot like this, so it kind of crossed you know, it didn't go next to him, but it crossed over. He would be able to identify that that bullet originated from where I'm at. That's something that a lot of people don't know about suppressors. They think that it's the ultimate hiding weapon. But when you go subsonic on the bullet... Oh, shoot! By the way, the reason I was using the UMP, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Even at, even at say, from here to that tree, 
it's pretty solid with headshots. All right, the recoil pattern is very predictive, watch. See how it just kind of pops straight up? It just going straight vertical. Predictable recoil patterns are way better than higher fire rate, non-predictable patterns. Shooting a, I was shooting an M4, I was shooting, what, my last assault rifle I've been using was, where is it? Man, I've got a lot of rifles since then. I think I got rid of it. Nope, this one. I was using the AUG because I got it up to level three, Mark three. So I'm using this AUG, which is using uh, five, five, six ammo, but it's giving 32 damage. 32 damage is really good. The UMP is at 28, which is even better than all, a lot of the ARs in this game. A lot of them are at 20 to 25. A lot of the 7.62s are at 30 to 35. And this ump, being that it's a 45 caliber pistol bullet, it still has got some good stopping power. Anyway, what I'm saying about predictable patterns is when you shoot like the M4, it goes up and then all of a sudden it takes off like it's going to the store or something. It's like, where the heck are you going? Same with that AUG. You got to kind of do almost in three round bursts. Otherwise it goes up and goes whoop and starts going like that. It's like, what the deuce is wrong with you? All right, this, this is not, this isn't safe. I'm trying to make my way over there. I'm going to have to go through some of these places. Probably shouldn't shoot this guy yet before I... You know, I tried to go into some um, mountainous regions, and just like here, there's not as much stuff to hide in. Look at, can I, there, I can hide a little bit in this bush. So they've, region by region, it's harder for you to uh, actually get, get stealthed. It's a lot harder, so the mountains are going to be ridiculous. The one cool thing about this particular perk that I'm running, obviously when I ran... Sniper it when you finally finish it. It helps you hold your breath longer, which I never hold my breath and Some other things assault is really good because it gives you more health It gives you more health and it's oh the special ability on sniper is um, You get a one magazine full of like art basically armor penetrating bullets The one on health is some kind of like rage mode where you take less damage but it also messes up your view, like it's harder to see. The one on this one, this passive ability on this panther is really cool. It's called Cloak and Run. So I throw down this like sm electronic type smoke grenade, right? When they see you, it goes red, right? It goes red. Yellow means they're alerted. Red means they see you. When it goes red, you throw that thing down. See that? UMP 45. Pistol caliber submachine gun at that range. So you throw it down and it bra basically breaks their line of sight. The other thing is some of the challenges they give you are, oh shoot. Some of the challenges are to go in and melee, you know, basically CQB, close quarters combat with a knife. And you can, like that guy right there, I could have thrown down with my Z button, hit, hit the Z button and charged him and he'd be like, what, what? It's like, he can't even see you coming. It's crazy. It's crazy. So that that's pretty helpful. And I've got in some, I mean, I've died a lot with sticky situations going in and trying to get all these kills. Once I went to Panther, because I'm trying to rank them all up, I don't know what I'm gonna need as this game gets harder and harder. I use that, I'm, I found this to be the best when it comes to after you get yourself into trouble, like maybe you didn't realize that a truck pulled up right behind you and now you're completely flanked. You just throw this grenade down and you take off running and they don't see which direction you ran. You can get away. And to live, to fight another day, as they say. See, now those guys are yellow. They don't know where I'm at. They only know that they, they either saw a dead body or they saw him get shot or they heard the shot. Red is when they know and that's when, that's when all heaps of trouble are going to come down on your head. So what I did was, again, if you find yourself a gun that you really like in this game, okay, you find a gun that you really like, you want to go find the blueprint for it, right? I found the blueprint for this and this, which means you can then spend all the money in the gunsmith here to get your passive bonuses up to Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, and then you, you're basically getting the max you can out of that weapon. 
anytime you go to, to the cave or the bivouac, you can buy another version of this. Say I'm getting higher and higher level. I can just buy the gun again and it's going to be equal to my level here. So that's good. I've So I did it with the UMP. I like the TAC-50. I thought there were some other, gun, uh, other guns that I liked, but I was wrong. And here's where you can see. You go to weapons and you can see the blueprints that I have. I've got the AUG. I've got this um, this crazy VHSD2. I got the AUG Assault, which is a different version. I took the AUG to Mark III and not the Assault because I got this after completing the, uh, the Assault tree. I've got an M4A1, but this particular M4, I can't put a suppressor on. Got a FAMAS. And then I, I know where the AK-47 blueprint is. I just can't get to it because where it's at is one of those behemoth sites, which is the tanks. And then I've also got the blueprint for the TAC-50 and the M82 Barrett. This TAC-50, I really like. It's bolt action, but it cycles pretty fast. And it's got incredible range. It's using the 338 Lapua. And I think what the game did, you guys, is guns that were supposed to be like 50 caliber. I think to make it easier on like ammo collection and things like that, um, see these these Intel things here you want to get these because these could tell you where those blueprints are and what happens is you go in you look at the blueprint and it'll tell you where to go find that like this see weapon objective that's a blueprint there's a muzzle break and then here is a, a bivouac location so right now if there's a bivouac that I don't know about that's over here that what I just unlocked there could be really helpful and that could have been this one here. And it is Seal Passage Bivouac. So there's one there that would have been closer than this original one. And I could have taken this road in, but we're here now. I thought that would be interesting to you guys. Kind of a little bit of, again, real life stuff and in-game stuff. But with these types of guns, these SMGs, we're just going to call them SMGs. Because in, in real life, at least in America, you can't get an SMG because an SMG is full auto. What you get is called a pistol caliber carbine. Basically, it's a small, it's the same thing without full auto. Now I've shot, all right, there's another AUG. See, and any AUG I get is Mark III now because I've, I've ranked up the AUG to Mark III. So let's keep moving. I've shot, you know, I've got a couple of, of you know, SMGs, and I've shot plenty of full autos, you know, shot the MP5, you know, that's, it's amazing. Like the MP5 is no joke, but I'm telling you my gun in real life, that's like this one. It's a BNT version of this in semi-automatic. I can rapid fire that thing and keep it on target. Like it's nobody's business. So I kind of like the ability to shoot semi-automatic, you know, it's more controlled. It's more controlled. This, there's not a lot of places for me to hide here. This does not look safe whatsoever. And we're pretty far on the outskirts still. But we need to get through this because we go to Apple headquarters. I mean, Scale headquarters. <laughs> that joke's never going to get old to me. Oh, this is a, oh, okay. This is a pretty good size area here. The one thing you can do if you're feeling froggy I need to kill that drone. I need to definitely kill that drone. If you're feeling froggy, pull off your suppressor, shoot unsuppressed, and um, get their attention that way instead of doing like spotting all these guys. What I found in these areas, when I don't go up and look for snipers, snipers are pretty deadly in this game. They may miss once, but then they're gonna get you. You're gonna you're gonna get owned. So you gotta really watch the snipers. I don't have access to that sniper up there. I don't think I do. I can take a chance on it. He's walking. All right. Yeah, I really did all out of all my all my guns this is my favorite gun in real life it's not the ump but if if you would look up the apc 45 on google 
B and T Bruger and Tomet. They're made in Switzerland, and it's an APC 45, and it's no joke. I love it. It's such a good gun. I think I'm gonna get myself in trouble here, but let's go in. This is an area that I would traditionally sit out on the edges and snipe most of the people. So that guy's gonna That was a regular like vacuuming drone. Why was he gonna call me out? That's rude. I'm in a flower bed. I really want I wanna find that drone. I'm telling you, UMP slow predictable recoil and one-shot headshots if the guys are not wearing any kind of armor where's that drone at i want that drone because you i know you know i need 10 drones and i only got three so seven more drones Let's spot it again i don't know if that little thing counted I, di I didn't look and see before what happens is someone at ubisoft decided it would be funny that when the drone spots you, that it goes whoop, 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 like that. And it's almost impossible to hit. Meanwhile, it's shooting you with deadly accuracy that whole time. Yeah, someone, there it is. Someone thinks it's hilarious at Ubisoft, and I don't. I don't find it funny at all because I've been killed by drones. that count? That did not count. Stay sharp. There are signs of possible enemy activity. These aren't hiding me. That counted. Alright, cool. The little vacuuming robot counted. I'm not really hiding here. I'm going for it. I'll back you up. Why did that give me the completed on stealth kills? when I wasn't stealth right there. I found that happens a, a fair amount. Like, kill 30 enemies without dying, and I get to like 25, and then I die, and then it's like completed. Like, wait a minute. Did you realize I just died a minute ago? All right, might as well get the chest while I'm here. Take a little swim. There's one more guy in a building over there. I did see the red indication. Did they go in the wrong... Went on the wrong building. Wait, there is one there. What the? There was one up there. How did I not see it on the mini-map or in my vision, dude? I opened my damn eyes, man. What the heck is wrong with me? Never know what you're going to get out of here. Like a PX4, maybe, huh? A little PX4 action. It's gonna take some, uh... Leave me alone. It's gonna take some doing, getting in all the way in, but it's gonna be worth it. Where's that? Oh, that intel's over there. I gotta watch out, because there might be another... That, the, from the looks of that indicator, there may be another sniper on that roof over there. Some, Mark 48, sometimes you get to actually choose, you know, it'll give you the option of the type of intel that you're going to get. And at first I didn't realize, but I, I think the best to do is the blueprints. Because you're going to want to find yourself a gun that you really like. I'm going to leave that guy. He can mourn his friends. You're going to want to find a gun that you really like. And at that point, you want the blueprint for it. So when you're at the bivouac, you can actually just buy the gun. Okay, that counted. 
See, I got him just in time before he started doing his wild swing back and forth crapola, Ubisoft. Thanks. Oh, I think we're getting close to that weird looking apple circle. I mean, scale circle. <laughs> So just to let you guys know, when I talk to Jay Skell, he is, he's a whack job. He's one of those, you know, those guys who come up with ideas that no one else does. And obviously his, he's socially awkward. He's very strange dude. So you can also put your mouse over it, kind of get an idea of what's there. And sometimes if you, if you scan it with your drone, it'll show you that there's a collectible there and it's in blue. You don't know if it's going to be a blueprint or not, but there's a lot of stuff around here. But the, these things here are not blueprints, so they just give them to you. See, it shows there's an equipment, a gnome patch. How the heck am I going to... I need to get to one of these roads and work my way into that inner circle. And so that, that LMG Mark 48 blueprint I just got back back here at this last place, there it is right there. It's showing that when I get in there, this is going to be nasty, though. My gosh. It's wide open is the problem I'm having here. And I haven't... This is the first time being here, so I don't know if these are actually roads. Or... There's a lot of things, like, what I've been doing on my own time is anytime I come across something like that or... Where it looks like there might be something I want. I go there and do that. And just run around doing that. I'm not doing missions. I'm just doing like open world type stuff. Uh, what's cool about it is. I was playing for a couple hours. Alright still need to go to the left over here. I was playing for a couple hours. And before I knew it. I, I'm like well, maybe I should look and see if there's any sk passive skills. That could be helpful. Because a lot of them are perks. But there are a fair amount of passive skills. And all the passive skills you want to get. Because they're just happening. Turns out I had 16 skill points to spend. Because some of the crates you pick up are actually skill points. Some are skill, po skill points. Some are skill points. That looks like the road right there. That little bridge. I need to go over that. Yep. So we send the drone out just to see like what kind of presence we have here with, with enemies. There's, some, there's a guy way up there. Well, I look for it. Like, I don't... Right now, uh, see, I'm kind of looking around. Look at the mini-map. You see that red dot up there? That's... Oh, okay. We've definitely got to get rid of that thing. That thing will destroy my face. So I look for the red first. Yeah, they got a blockade going here. We're going to have to try and take that thing out. Now, the, the, the cool thing about this particular class is... Most of the other classes required you to use, like, whatever the challenge was. Sniper class, you had to do it with the sniper. Assault class, you had to do it with the assault rifle. This one, there are a lot with the SMG, but like all the drones, I can kill them with anything. A sniper, a pistol, doesn't matter. It counts. It all counts the same. You can hear those things hum. Now, see, I don't have my sniper class on, so I can't do my armor piercing. He doesn't know where I'm at yet, which is key, because as soon as he does, he'll start opening fire on me. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. You want to obviously hit those locations. I did unlock an EMP grenade just recently. guys know where I'm at too. All right, all right, that we did good there. We did good there. How far away is that guy? I can't see his head anymore. So those trucks go around, they'll show you that little symbol you saw there. Uh, that is like scale credits. There's another one where it shows the gun symbol. And as you're going, you can take down one of those um, 
that was a uh, Saiga 12 shotgun right there. So as you, the gun one, if you take down that convoy, there'll be a gun in the back for you to get. And I just unlocked a perk recently that gives you better guns in there because I was just getting average guns. And it's you, I had to chase them down with a motorcycle, jump off, get in front of them, snipe the drivers. It, it, was, it was a chore to do it, and the payoff wasn't really there. Across this bridge. Oh, we got some dudes up here. Are they on the bridge? Oh, shoot. This whole area is. Oh, no. This whole area is chock a block full of fools. Doesn't look like I can swim and climb up that. I think I'm going to have to cross in the traditional fashion. All right, time to get ugly. Can I get up in this thing? Can I see? I don't think I can see over that from here. What about this position here? It seemed like a good idea, but you're super exposed, right? I'm really exposed here. As soon as I take down that heavy, these two guys are going to see him. They're going to run for cover. That heavy is the most important for me to take down first. I'm a sniper by trade. I'm a sniper. See, the good thing is they don't know where I was shooting from. Mm. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Get moo. Oh, jeez. Thanks, Ubisoft, for the stutter. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. You see that? It just showed my location. It threw that grenade on the ground. Thanks, Ubisoft, for the standstill animation. Those drones are the worst, dude. So they dropped something there. That means last time that happened, it happened to me early in the game. Really early. And it dropped a bunch of drones in. That guy's on the other side of the building. It dropped a bunch of drones in. The kind that have guns. There's somebody right here. Oh, that's gold. That's the next level up. Uh, nothing green, blue, purple, gold. Oh, look at that. An AUG in the gold. All right, let's take a quick peek at that, you guys. All right, so you can see what I'm saying. It's like it goes gr no lines, one green line. Two blue lines, three purples, four yellows or gold. And this is considered ultimate? I don't know if there's something above this. But as you get your level up higher and higher, you'll start to see more of this stuff at, at, at everywhere you go. You can see this is 32 damage. Um, good handling. But... Like I said before, that gun has a crazy up and to the two o'clock position. Oh, I better see. So I think I'm thinking that along the way, you want to keep getting your gear better and better. You see, this is up eight points. You want to keep getting better and better with your equipment. So don't get don't get married to something like like I'll have purple here. Then the next one will be blue. You feel like you're going backwards, but you're not. I think what's most important is the overall gear score is this score here, which is all of your gear put together, right? All right, hopefully there's no drones sitting over here waiting for me. Or that, that predator drone dropped that thing. It had the one guy walk across. I don't see anything. <laughs> 
Let's go see what's in this crate. Why is it telling me to focus? Usually when it tells you to focus, there's a drone or something going on. So I actually haven't even used LMGs yet. I mean, I fired one, like, temporarily. They're pretty crazy. Alright, so... I don't care about the muzzle break. The one thing that Ubisoft did do in this game, which is not a uh, correlation to real life, is when you add attachments, it's like, say you add an extended magazine, it obviously gives you more bullets, but it also increases reload time. Now, I get what they were trying to do. They're like, well, it's a bigger magazine. It's a little bit harder to handle. Something like that, but that's not true in real life. Same thing with, like, muzzle devices, foregrips. Uh, if you do this... You know, it'll get you... Here, let's see if we can actually shoot this dude in the leg and and talk to him. Cover me, I'm moving. Or in the junk. You gotta shoot him just enough to where he falls. I shot him in the junk. He should have fell right away from that one. Oh, nice glasses, dude. 1995 called. They want their Oakleys back. Alright, interrogate... Main mission, investigate Aurora's parliament. Hey, Tell me what you mean. know. Don't kill me. That's all I know, I swear. Okay, new clue, check. Okay, so one, one, uh, here. So it, it gives you only the knockout version. So, yeah. Gave me a Mark 14. So here's the thing, you guys. One thing, if I had a criticism of the game, is whenever you interrogate, they don't ever say anything. They don't have voice animation. They just say, that's all I know. That's all I know. You know, it's kind of weird, but I'm, fi I'm fine with it. So we're looking for this. This is unread intel. Okay. So we got some more intel which sometimes then moves your moves your point just like it did when we see it moved it we came all the way over here now where is it telling us to go we have the data farm to do as well these are okay so we got three things that we wanted that scale wanted us to do he wanted us to go to the data farm to blow up the computers because there was before he got captured there was a team working to close a back door into the swarm drone system that he could go in and put a virus in there and stop the swarm drones maybe in one little area so we could escape the island so they're working on this right now i have to get there and stop those dudes from closing the back door so we can still put that in and then we've also we need to find the campus is where the head of the AI, yeah, Christina Cromwell. We've got to get one of his engineers back, too, because she's the only one that can really help with this this virus thing. These are side missions here, so it's, it's the yellow things. So we went from over here, over in this region here at his estate, to here. Now it's wanting us to go over here to the detention center. Oh, boy. It seems like... See, she's a key to creating the virus as well. So it's very important that we get that. So we got to push to this detention center. Now, in the very center, there is a blueprint here for the Mark 48. Not sure if I'm even going to go for that. If As long as we're not in a fight, we can fast travel out of this area to here, then work our way up to that one, which is what we'll probably do because there looks like a ton of people. That looks like it's underground, too. Like, who knows who's going to be down there waiting for us. That counts for my drone kill. I had to go for it. That guy's been showing up on my radar for a long time. I'd love to dome his face, but I can't. He's always he's behind the building over there. Working our way around in here. It's pretty cool, but dangerous because it's so wide open. That that just feels like too far for an ump. That's the heli. Heli's no big deal. You can knock them down with a couple of sniper shots. And then when they crash, 
it really it kind of alerts everyone around and you get an idea of where everybody is plus you get to knock out three of the dudes all at once there's one guy over there that got alerted these guys over here are definitely tone deaf they couldn't hear anything because there's unless these guys are underneath nope there they are right there Should have spotted the third guy. Now I don't know where he's at. Doesn't matter. I burned. I burned two of the three. Civilian. Lucky I didn't go for a quick scope on that civilian. Yeah, that other dude. He's hunkered down. Definitely hunkered down. All right, we're here. I might as well go over there and see what the heck. Is, if this is like an underground facility because you can see the thing is underground there's two more dudes there looking through bamboo field not so good Saw that guy running. There's a civilian right in the line of sight, like right when he was going to come through that bush. I think he ducked down right there. There's another guy right, right in there somewhere. Yeah, you do. Definitely need a new position, friend. I think we're at the very center of this thing, but how to get underneath? It's right underneath me right here. Let's take a quick look at the map. Yeah, we're right at the center. This is crazy, dude. Usually if they have like an underground facility. Oh, okay. They have an underground facility. It's chock a block full of people. Oh, I wanted to hit the water. I wanted to hit the water. So there's some collectibles in here. It's a civilian. Somebody up those stairs. If I get, if I alert them that I'm down here, it is trouble on the horizon, man. So these things here, these little pages with the check mark, they're collectibles. And I, I don't know if that's just another thing that they put in the world, but they do give you clues. World 2.0 is a pipe dream. All right. I think we're going to make our way out of here, you guys. We'll come back. We'll start the next episode. We'll be here. And we're going to make it our way over to there. So, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Hit the old like button. I'll see you guys next episode.